Hello, seventh graders. Thank you so much for a wonderful day today or yesterday in your case. I wanted to um, let you know that I have updated your bell work in one of the classes. It was obvious to me that some of you really struggled with copying and pasting the quote. And so I decided instead of having you have to access the slides in order to do the bell work that I would just make it available for you. So from here on out, your bell work is on here, the date, the quote, and the questions. You will type your response right here. Make sure that when you type your response, you use the question in your answer. So if I'm going to answer this question, what dream did Michael Phelps achieve? I'm going to start by typing the dream Michael Phelps achieved was. If I answer question two, I would write, uh, question two asks, how did he get there? I would write, he got there by, what happened if he lost a match? If he lost a match, blah, 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 blah. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for you to use the question in your answer so that I can see that you fully understand what question is being asked and so you can work on your language development. Obviously, you are going to need to access your text, the Michael Phelps in Pursuit Blast, in order to complete this task. Go ahead and pause this video now and pull up your exit ticket or your uh, bell work from your Google Classroom page right here and get to work on your bell work. Pause the video and do your bell work. You have five minutes. All right, now that you have completed your bell work, let's take a look at your assignments for today. First, you are going to review your In Pursuit Blast. If you have not already done so, I need you to mark the text using the text markings and summarize each chunk or each paragraph in the margin. And again, the margin is this short part of the um, page that's blank. You have space there to write, okay? Pause the video, write the summaries in the margins and add those text codes. All right, now that you are done doing that, I want you to take a look at a completed page. Um, I'll have it here, and then I also have it right here. If you can see, I don't know which one is easier for you, probably the one on the screen right up here. But um, basically what I did is I took a picture of this and I put it on here for you. If you'll notice, I've circled many, many of the words, and actually some of the words I circled, I noticed that students had circled themselves and either didn't know or understood to be a key word. You'll also notice that throughout the text, I have written stars, I've written question marks, happy faces, and check marks. I've used all of my text codes. And lastly, you'll notice that I've summarized the text in the margins. So you'll see here, my summarization here says, many people undertake a mission, but why? Because that's the general idea, the gist that I got from the first paragraph. In the second paragraph, I identified that Michael Phelps was driven by desire to be the best. In that final paragraph, I wrote that there are many reasons why people undertake a mission, because that's the general idea of that paragraph. You'll also notice that the bottom of my page is done too, so you need to make sure that you get yours done here as well. Pause the video now to make sure that you have everything circled, written, marked that you need to. All right, now that you have made sure that you've circled and marked and done everything on that text for that first read, I want to bring your attention now to this page. This is our close reading protocol. Take a look at step three, which is read two. These are the main ideas, details, and note-taking interactions that you have with the text. What we're going to be doing is paraphrasing these key ideas and transferring them into our graphic organizer, which is this document right here. And the way that we do that is we take a look at these two questions. First, what does it mean to undertake a mission? And second, what drives us to undertake a mission? 
You're going to write your answers to those questions here and here, and then you will pull evidence from the text that supports these answers. Pause the video, please. Answer the two questions and find evidence in the text that supports your answer. Okay, now that you have taken care of that, we have uh, one more activity that we're going to be completing for class today if we have time. Uh, it's not for certain and I'll be able to see what we're able to finish and not finish based on the work that you turn in to me. Um, before we move on, flip this over and make sure that you have your name, date, and class period. Class period is going to be really important written on here. As I told you, most of the work that you're going to turn in for the class will be done on Google Classroom, but for today, uh, you're going to be turning in this document. I'm going to be creating you. So turn it in. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to choose um, one of these videos, Impossible or Motivation, and you are going to watch the video. And based on the video, you're going to be doing the same activity where you answer the research question, what, uh, what does it mean to undertake a mission and what drives us to undertake a mission using evidence from the video. Again, you're only gonna choose one to do this on. And then the other assignment that you need to do is do your own research and look up what drives us to undertake a mission and answer those two questions as well. Um, Go ahead, choose your video. When you're finished with your video, conduct your research and turn in your packet when you are done. Thanks again for another great day.